So let's find out more about the opportunities for tech companies going public these days. Norbert Kuhn joins us now. He's uh, from the Deutsche Aktien Institute. That is an association of German exchange-listed stock corporations and other companies and institutions with an interest in the capital market. Good to have you here with us. And uh, of course, you know about Facebook and Twitter and more and more tech companies uh, going public these days. Uh, shares are rising, which is a good thing. But where are the German tech firms? Well, stock performance and uh, IPO activities are clearly linked together. Uh, after the financial crisis, we didn't uh, saw any IPO activity as share prices fell. And so, um, but in the meantime, uh, uh, the stock markets recovered. Uh, DAX uh, performs on an all-time high. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we hope that also tech companies will reach mm -hmm. the capital market and raise funds on via an IPO. Okay. Uh, when you say the, the stock market recovered uh, and the DAX as well, because we can see just now uh, when we look at Twitter's IPO last week, it was quite interesting. It was a great uh, debut there. It started uh, with huge gains ending the first trading day at uh, $45.10 a share. That's way above the initial share price of $26. How do you explain this success, especially with something like Twitter, which uh, so far hasn't turned a profit yet? It's difficult to explain, but I think it's uh, the whole sentiment on the markets. But uh, is this, this is a short term perspective. And so we have to wait and see uh, how Twitter is able to translate this huge number of users into profits. And then we will see if uh, uh, the the investment is really a success. Mm. And what if it isn't? What if uh, Twitter and Facebook, uh, which has recovered uh, since its IPO, which back then was a disaster, what if uh, all these social media and tech firms actually are nothing but the start of uh, a new bubble? Well, I don't think so, but um, investors have to be aware that they invest uh, in firms which uh, face a, very, a market environment which is rapidly changing and uh, which is uh, which is a, a great competition in the market. And so they have to invest only a small uh, part of their investments into shares of these companies mm -hmm. to do not uh, face too big losses. So, I mean, there's always risk involved. In, in what way does, uh, do German shareholders perhaps uh, differ from US shareholders? Is there a different mentality? Yes, I think especially retail investors are more risk averse than their uh, US counterparties. Uh, but um, we hope that uh, many or more and more uh, retail investors will get on the share on the stock markets because shares are rising at the moment, uh, because it's a good opportunity to um, make uh, for themselves, for the pension systems okay. uh, and so on. Okay, and they need it. Is Mr. Specs a good opportunity? What's your advice for a company like that? Well, Mr. Specs has uh, a very good growth uh, story. But uh, this is uh, a, very, a little bit risky and uh, they are not well established on the market okay. and we have to wait and see if they can make profits in future as well. Okay, okay. Norbert Kuhn, thank you very much for joining us today.